What's up YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here and today I'm going to switch it up actually and talk about a current Yu-Gi-Oh! product that I like, that I think has promise, I think has potential, I think is one of the few that might be worth buying at the current price points. Uh, and that product is Duelist Saga. So for those who don't know, Duelist Saga is a three-pack mini box. The MSRP, or manufacturer's suggested retail price, is $14.99 for the three-pack. So it is $5 a pack. Again, it is a mini box. Uh, and the box in the set does have a mix of older and newer cards. Um, reprints, older reprints, newer reprints. I believe every card in the set comes in ultra rare. Uh, there is a new ultra rarity, ultra rare, uh, different foiling. There has been a lot of photos online. If you could check those out, they remind me a lot of a reverse Pokemon, uh, reverse hollow, kind of that kind of foil uh, outline or texture. Again, I don't have it in hand, I've never seen it in hand, so I can't tell you. I don't know if it'll be nicer or uh, not as nice as that, but uh, anyhow, the set is Duelist Saga. It, like I said, it comes in um, mini boxes of three packs. Um, but my initial impressions of this product and why I like it so much, uh, it's something rare because they're <laughs> you, newer Yu-Gi-Oh products are terrible in terms of holding, investing, opening, any of that. Um, and this is coming from someone that bought, you know, literally a few hundred of these legendary decks. I made my money with these, selling the, the insides. But, uh, you know, newer Yu-Gi-Oh! products, you never want to touch that. You never want to get involved in newer Yu-Gi-Oh! products. I'm not saying the Duelist Saga is going to be a home-run product. I'm not guaranteeing Duelist Saga will be any good in terms of resale. But I do think... That out of all the current new products being pumped out by Konami, I think this has the highest chance, the highest probability in a long time that I'm seeing, uh, to actually increase on the resale market. I think the current price point you could pre-order now at about eleven ninety nine was the cheapest I saw. That was PokeOrder.com. I saw it on eBay for about thirteen or thirteen ninety nine shipped. So that's also an option. Again, the MSRP, when it hits stores, it will be $14.99. Uh, I did lock in a case, a case of eight boxes. Um, was it eight boxes or six boxes? I don't know. I did lock in a case to where the each mini box came out to about, uh, about $10. So um, I actually have a case and a half at least coming, so... I locked in a case, I locked in other boxes at about that $10, $10, $11, $12 price range. Um, but again, I'm going to get into why I think it's going to be a potentially a great buy if you're looking for newer cards. And uh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of something like a gold series, the original, a premium gold even, the original. Um, something that's super low production. But has a lot of value and what I mean by low production is I look online I see not a lot of retailers are pre are having this for pre-order the ones that did sold out quickly I looked at troll and toad as well you know they were hitting um, 17 or 18 a box a mini box at one point so that's absurd uh, there were other websites as well that I'm looking that are out of stock the one I ordered, one of them that I ordered from, um, not the case, but I ordered a few other boxes from, they are now out of stock. And it reminds me of something very low, low produced, low production. I'm looking at international websites. Interestingly enough, if you go to eBay and you look and you search Dual Saga boxes, you'll see a lot from Canada. You'll see a lot from Australia. You'll see some from even Germany. So you, when you're looking, you're looking at a lot of international sellers. And even if you Google something like Duel of Saga, you're seeing a lot of international websites, whether it be the UK, uh, whether it be somewhere else, um, Europe and Europe. But that's a sign that's telling me, okay, 
if, if I'm getting European websites on the first and second pages of Google, the production of this product can't be that high. Uh, in the U.S., at least, it can't be that high. Uh, this means to me that the production is low, very low. Um, and again, it's a product that offers value from a variety of aspects. You have the current players looking for uh, reprints of current ca of current cards, and you have the old school players looking for reprints of the older cards. So it attracts these two different audiences as well. Um, there might not be a super super huge card. I know Trishula um, is reprinted. I know that should be hot. I know the X Saber. That's a newer card as well. That should be hot. Imperial Order should be pretty good. And there was another card in that uh, Google Saga that was selling pretty good as well. I mean, there's Rescue Rabbit too. Again, these are all newer cards, um, but there is value in terms of the old cards as well. The Nostalgic Factor, a hundred, I think a hundred card set, guys. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Again, each card is an ultra rare. It is a new ultra rare. It's a new parallel, a new style ultra rare. So that's always something interesting. But I think due to low production, I think this product could, could double in price, maybe more uh, in the future. I think it's worth buying at the price point. Again, Konami could, could go crazy and just say, okay, this sold so well that we're just going to reprint it to Oblivion. I think this set, Duel of Saga, is in between. I don't think, Duel, well, Duel of Saga, let's be honest, it won't be Legendary decks. You know, it won't be that popular, but it won't be dead to where there's no demand for it. The demand, in my opinion, is kind of in the middle. I think it's a lot of people are waiting to see what the checklist would be. Uh, they didn't, Konami didn't announce the checklist or it wasn't leaked until a few weeks before release. So that's another thing. People were not ordering the product and not pre ordering it because no one knew what the cards inside were. So now that I think people do know, I think people will order it. And again, it's not going to be something that's flying off the shelves. But it's not going to be something where there's no demand. And I think that low production point, again, from everything I'm hearing, from everything I'm seeing, should be relatively low production. This video could be completely wrong, you know? <laughs> I could be speculating here, and I could be completely off to where you see these things for... A year at the price point of thirteen, fourteen dollars. But again, I, I'm not guaranteeing anything. I'm just saying when I'm comparing it to all other current products, it reminds me of something like a premium gold, for example, uh, a gold series, one of those commodity mini box kind of products. Um, as we all know, gold series is th went through the roof when it came out again, but that had crush card virus way back when. But I'm looking at something like Premium Gold and comparing it to something like Premium Gold. I think that was back in 2014. It was funny because I was looking... When I was looking to buy Dual Saga, I was looking at... I remember sending emails out to certain uh, distributors or wholesalers or people and just saying, what's the lowest you can do on Premium Gold? Because I like that product as well. I thought there was potential in those mini box kind of products. Um, it was a new rarity, Premium Gold. It's the PGLD um, set name. For those who don't know, please feel free to look it up. And it was funny, you know, the the seller wanted fifty four ninety five a box, or I think it was five hundred forty a case, ten box case, and I just I didn't take it. I didn't take it, and uh, I paid the price because just looking at eBay now, you know, they're hitting anywhere from about one seventy to two hundred a box. So you're talking if I paid that 540 a case, a 10 box case, you know, I'm going to make two grand in revenue, so about 1500 in profit. After fees, you're talking about 1200 in profit, but still 1200 in profit is outrageous. Um, that's four times my investment. <laughs> um, and I'm looking at a product like Dual Saga, and I think it has enough appeal to it, it has enough wide appeal to it to keep people interested in it i think it has a low production again this is from everything i'm hearing i'm also hearing it has low production i'm not only seeing it but i'm hearing it 
Uh, so the fact that I'm hearing about it and seeing it makes me hope. If the production is low, guys, this thing will not retain a $14 price tag. If Konami decides to let it sell out and when it sells out, it's gone, that's it, and not reprint it like these, then you're talking about a product that you'll make three, four times your investment. Do I think that these decks or that these mini boxes will ever hit, um, you know, 50 bucks? Probably not. Do I think they'll hit 30? I think there's a decent chance it could hit 30 in a year. And that's, if they hit 30 in a year, for me, I'm buying at about 10 bucks a box. I'm tripling my investment in only a year. If they hit 30 a year and you guys are buying it at 14 a box, you're doubling your investment in a year. Again, I might open a couple a couple boxes on my channel. I will open actually a couple boxes on my channel, so feel free to stay tuned for that. Um, that should be on release date at March 30th, March 31st, around that area. Um, so I will be opening that on my channel. I'm probably most likely going to keep a bunch of it sealed uh, and see what happens. Again, this product could completely tank. It could. I mean, I, it's always risky investing in newer Yu-Gi-Oh! product, but this is the best product I've seen in a long, long time, to where I'm intrigued and I'm saying, this has a lot of potential to grow. I think the price point is nice and cheap too, at $12, $13 right now, it's a very nice price point to buy, and we'll have to see what happens guys, but that is my spiel on Duelist Saga. I just find it very interesting. I wanted to share with you guys. I am a tad invested, like I said, almost two cases of product I ordered. So I'm not super invested, but I am invested enough to where I'm interested to see what happens to the market going forward with this product in a year. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't see this sticking around for a year, but who knows, right? We'll have to find out. All right, so... Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, if you have any comments, questions, recommendations, anything, again, feel free to comment below. I appreciate everything, especially on that last tournament pack video. For those who haven't seen the tournament pack story, check it out. And uh, I'm going to stop rambling now as we're at 12 minutes. Look into Duel Saga. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be seeing what's going to happen with this product. Very interesting.